What's up guys, my name is Drew Tedro, aka the Raisin Canes Addict, and today we are going to be making Raisin Canes from scratch. First we're going to be making the crinkle fries. First you're going to need a potato, a knife, and a crinkle cutter. First you're going to need to cut the potato into thin slices. Then, after we've done that, we take the crinkle cutter to cut the potatoes into the Cane's fry shape. Now once you cut all your crinkle fries, you're gonna put them in your mixing bowl. Then you're gonna add a little olive oil and garlic powder for 16 to 25 minutes to get those babies looking beautiful. Next up, the chicken fingers. The bread and butter. You can either make these babies from scratch or you can use uh, frozen ones, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Next up, we're gonna be making my favorite part. The world famous, you know it, we all love it, the Raisin Cane's sauce. First up, we got a half a cup of mayo. Next up, we got three tablespoons of ketchup. There's one. How about two? How about three? Then two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Perf. Some black pepper. How about a little bit of onion powder? Last but not least, the secret ingredient, the garlic powder. Ta-da! Now we mix. Hmm, I'm gonna add a little bit more onion powder, but you can add any more of what you want. Back to mixing. Last but not least, the crown jewel, the Texas toast. So how you're gonna wanna execute this, you're gonna take your Texas toast with your bowl full of melted butter. You're gonna dip both sides, boom, boom, put it right back on your plate. Take the other side, boom, boom. Once you've added garlic butter to both sides of the bread, then you place your piece of butter into the pan, just like so, gently, and allow it to fry both sides. Once you've waited about, I'd say 35 seconds to one side, you make sure you want to flip to get that even crispiness. Oh my gosh. I'm love. All right guys, we've made it to the grand reveal. We have our DIY chicken, our fries, our Texas toast, and our homemade cane sauce. Now first, let's give it a try. Wow, that is so good. Next up for the fry. Last but not least, the crown jewel. This is outstanding. I highly recommend you try this in the comfort of your own home with just a few ingredients from the grocery store to top off an amazing self meal in the comfort of your own home. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. And don't miss out on this opportunity to make your very own cane sauce. Peace.